Swift is what JavaScript should have been when it comes to throwing and catching exceptions. There are some obvious problems with how JavaScript does exceptions. You don't know if it's going to throw, and you don't know what it's going to throw. Sure, you can subclass the error class and add custom properties, but it's very cumbersome to do that yourself, and most libraries do a bad job documenting their errors. This leads to splits in the API where one function throws and one function returns undefined. Or to fix the problem, you get effect, which is just a language inside of the language that works completely different. Now let's see how Swift does it. It's similar to JavaScript because you still throw and catch, but it has some niceties. In the function types, you put throws on the function so you know if it throws or not. And when you call it, you need to prefix with try. And without anything else, this will bubble the error up to the next level, kind of like bubbling errors in JavaScript. But you can also handle the error with a do catch block. You can catch all the errors or you can pattern match. Swift has an enum type that lets you define multiple types of errors along with their payloads. This is so much nicer than classes in JavaScript and makes it so much easier to pattern match. Now I will admit you can't type the error that's returned by a function. If you want to get that fancy, you're going to need Rust. The last cool part is deciding if you want to handle the error or just turn it into a null value. And you can do that just putting a question mark on the end of try. This changes the return type to be or nil, not null, because Swift is fancy. This saves you from having a split in the API for throw or not throwing, which I really like. So now you know, 